In this question we are given two tables and we are asked to drag and drop the correct values into the boxes to complete the tables. So let's have a look at this first table here. We can see the box here that's missing is the mathematics E to G grades. Well we can see that at the very bottom here it gives us the total. So we know there are 234 pupils in total. And we know zero pupils got less than a G. We know that 84 got between a C and a D. And 76 got between an A star and a B. So what we can do is actually deduct 76 and 84 from 234 and that will give us this number here. So the calculation that we're going to need to do is 234 and then we need to take away 76 and take away 84. Of course we need to take away 0 as well but that's not going to affect our answer. And that gives us 74. So we can see already that the solution for this one goes here. Okay. Let's now move on to table 2. So we can see here this is percentage grades and it's a little annoying because we have A star to B but then we have A star to D then A star to G so the, the line above includes the line from before so we can't just do a subtraction here we're going to have to work out these percentages. Well let's have a look at A star to D. We can see from the table here for English that there are exactly 78 plus 96 which is 174 pupils who got between an A star and a D. But that's out of a total of 234 so we need to do 174 divided by 234 and that gives us 0 0.7435 dot dot dot. But as a percentage this is obviously 74 percent. So again we can see that in here we should have 74 percent. Finally we need to do the same for science. We can see that 64 people and 98 pupils got obviously between an A star and a D. So combined that gives us 162 pupils. So that's 162 pupils out of 234 and when we do this in our calculator we get 0 0.6923 dot 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 which is of course 69 percent. And so we have that this box should be dragged here.